Hello, welcome to Foodie Mom channel. Today we are going to see the recipe for all wheat peanut butter cookies. If you love peanut butter, this is a must try. Let's get started with the recipe now. First, I'm taking 1.5 cups of whole wheat flour which is atta. We will now combine all our dry ingredients with this. So this is half a teaspoon of baking soda and 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt. Let's combine them together. This will be our dry mixture. Let's keep this aside. So in a larger mixing bowl, I'm taking half a cup of butter. So let's just get it softened up a little. I'm adding 1 cup of light brown sugar to this. If you don't have brown sugar, you can add half a cup of jaggery powder and half a cup of regular sugar. But make sure to powder them before adding. Let's combine the butter and sugar together a little before adding the peanut butter. Now that it's mixed, we can add the peanut butter. I'm adding 3 by 4 cup of peanut butter to this. You can even use a homemade peanut butter or store bought peanut butter. Both works fine. Now we need to get started with the mixing again. Now we need to continue mixing this for about uh, 3 to 5 minutes until the mixture turns pale in color. Now you can see that the mixture color has changed slightly pale. Now it's mixed really well. Time to add in our egg. I'm adding one egg to this. Combine the egg as well. We need to actually add the vanilla extract now. I forgot and added it at the end actually. So when you are making, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract after the egg. Once they are combined, we can start adding our dry flour mixture which we prepared earlier. Just add them in 2 to 3 batches so that it helps to combine well. We don't have to mix it too much. We just need to get the flour incorporated in our uh, butter mixture. Just we shouldn't be seeing any dry flour. Here goes my forgotten vanilla. I'm just adding it and combining it once. Once it is combined, uh, you just have to bring it together into a ball. You can even use your hands to bring them together. It's always good to chill the cookie dough in the fridge for 30 minutes to 1 hour at least. You can even leave it overnight in the fridge before baking the cookies. Now I'm going to chill this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. It's ready now. After 30 minutes we can start shaping them into the balls. Try to always shape the cookies into equal sized balls so that they all bake at the same amount of time. If one is small and one is big, the smaller ones will get overcooked and turn too much of brown color. So it's good to shape them into equal sized balls. While we are shaping the cookies, get the oven preheated to 180 degree Celsius or 350 degree Fahrenheit. Now after shaping all these cookies, it's time to give them the peanut butter cookie shape. Use a fork for that. Press it in the opposite directions. This is completely optional. You can just 
uh, press it with the back of the spoon to get a regular round shaped cookie now if the fork starts getting sticky just dip it into dry flour and go ahead with making the shapes after uh, making the shape on all the cookies we can get these cookies baked in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the sides start turning brown now you can see our beautiful peanut butter cookies ready let them chill on the tray for about 10 minutes and then store them in an airtight container they are so good if you want to dunk them into milk and have them don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for watching our videos